19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. Hey guys, so I just got a pre screening to Alex Garland's Civil War. It's a solid film, probably one of his best in a recent while. It reminds me a lot of his earlier work 28 days later, with the world in chaos, the road tripping, the crazy events along the way, and the military. They don't care if you're on their side or not, you're just at their mercy. You don't know what side they're fighting for. Someone's trying to kill us. We are trying to kill them. I've heard people say this movie in the chilling, casual, nihilistic nature many of the people have on screen reminds them of Apocalypse Now. I thought that was kind of fascinating. There are touches of moody, acoustic music reminiscent of The Last of Us in its soundtrack, and there are many hard cuts to music of the 70s era, like something that might have been playing out of a soldier's radio during the Vietnam War. The war photographer team we follow is on a mission to get an interview with the president. Lee, Joel, Sammy, and Jesse, and all their acting is done phenomenally. The characters each feel like their own world of reasonings, yet they're all driven by something. And we'll come back to that. Lee is a hardened and dead-eyed legendary member of the press, played very effectively by Kirsten Dunst. Joel is the eccentric partner in crime and an engaging character played by Wagner Mora. Sammy is a wise and witted advanced member of the crew who just can't pull himself away from this line of work. You know, Stephen McKinley Henderson is someone I've grown to absolutely love seeing in many interesting sci-fis and thrillers, whether it be a previous Alex Garland work like the miniseries Devs, or his role in Bo's Afraid. Do you ever wish that she was dead? What? Or Dune, need I go on? And if I've learned anything about the roles he plays, he's either gonna be the most lovable and sensible guy in the room, or potentially the scariest where all that wisdom, wit, and carefully chosen words are used against the protagonist. Finally, we have Lyndon, a girl aspiring to be a war photographer and apparently eager to throw herself into the deep end and experience the casual terrors of day-to-day -day life during this civil war. Lyndon is played by Kaylee Spaney, who actually isn't new to Alex Garland's work. In fact, she was also in the miniseries Devs. I just didn't recognize her at the time. As a matter of fact, there are quite a few cast members in this movie come straight out of Debs. I love how the movie shoves the characters and us in line, shoulder to shoulder with other soldiers while the bullet storms whiz, crack, and pop everywhere all around. Nothing is safe. And this movie does a great job with some of the moments that made my stomach go up into my chest and giving me that sickly gut feeling that makes me go, oh no, with wide eyes. Cinematography. We follow these characters closely and the cinematography does a fine job of putting some of that pressure on our shoulders. The camera is often at eye level, following closely from situation to situation. It keeps us close to the danger and unable to escape. When someone's hunkering down behind cover, so is a camera, like we're right there with them. When our characters are in the shit, we're in the shit. The cinematographer for this movie is Rob Hardy, and he's done previous work for Alex Garland in Annihilation, Ex Machina, and interestingly, Mission Impossible Fallout. With the up close and scarily grounded intensities, I was often given flashbacks to Catherine Bigelow's tense, active scenarios in her films. There are moments when the soldiers shout an array of orders and responses, shifting positions all while the enemy is right ahead of them. The camera stays back with the photographers, peeking when they do and trying to stay out of the way while getting substantial shots of the situation, just like our main characters. We're not entirely tied down by any means, but it never really lets us escape anything that's going on. Writing. I think the writing works for the tone this movie has. It's unexpectedly funny for the majority of the film, but with a believable working man's no shit kind of attitude. And all that can quickly switch on a dime as soon as the effects of the Civil War suddenly reach them, or they run into it. I really like the way this film handles its themes and the way it all comes full circle. The characters are all of their own circumstances, and you can get that sense without even knowing their backstories. That's also just good acting, but different things they say can constantly sway what you think about one character or another. Going in, I realized this is not a political film in the sense that I might have been expecting. Honestly, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Besides the obvious anti-war message in the cycle of nihilism, in fact, much of what's going on in the movie's world is pretty vague and is left mostly to the imagination. This is a tense character-driven story that focuses on the tolls a certain obsession can take. The reason they're all here and can't pull themselves away in the first place. I feel like going in blind and figuring it out on your own is a part of the experience with this film, but in a moment, I will explain what I think the themes of this movie are. Each gunshot is strikingly loud, 
They act almost like jump scares, especially in the first sudden occurrence earlier on. In the it's quite jarring, so if you're sensitive to sudden loud noises, you've been warned. The explosions are bigger than they should be. Our characters are often smiling while hunkering down behind cover like storm chasers finding their rush amid chaos. They chase it. They stay dangerously close. They peer into that abyss. This is a story about the sensationalization of spectacle, the spectacle of war. I can imagine it being stretched to spectacle in general, from stunts to pranks to worse. In a world surrounded by death and inescapable bloodshed, heed the things people are willing to do that makes them feel alive. Well, that's all I have for you today. If any of what I've said to this point interests you, then this movie is definitely worth a watch. If you made it this far into the video, I thank you. Take care, and have a good day. I'll see you next time.